Yo, welcome back. I'm Dave, this is Occasional Escape. Today we're going to find out whether or not I can do a fakey varial kickflip. Hopefully this isn't going to take me all day, we'll see. Hopefully this is going to be a fun one to learn. Before I finish work, I'm just going to do a little bit of the old fingerboarding, because I just bought this guy a couple of days ago. I haven't used a fingerboard in years and years and years. Hopefully this is going to take me back to my childhood. I'm done here, and now I'm going to go to the skate park. Let's go. Thank you. 
Okay, so there we have it. I did it. I learned to do fakie varial kickflips. Wasn't a super easy trick, to be honest, it feels a bit awkward for me. I don't know, I'm gonna be doing this one super often, but it did feel good to roll away from fakie. There's a couple where I landed, pivoted, and rolled away regular. There was a couple where I toe dragged, none of those count, but there were two clean, nice fakie rollaways. Now, I want to address the title of this video. I wouldn't have brought it up at all, but yesterday while I was walking to the skate park with my board under my arm, an older gentleman, um, I would say he must have been at least in his 70s, so an older gentleman, uh, he approached me and asked me, how old is too old for that? And I looked at him quite confused. I said, what? I said, how old is too old for doing that? I answered him, honestly, never. I said it's like any sport, any hobby, any passion that you have, as long as you're enjoying it, it's never too old to be doing it. He said, all right then, but to be honest, he looked as bemused by my answer as I was bemused by his question. I've seen people a lot older than me, a lot younger than me, all sorts of people just love to skate. It's just fun. And in the day, skateboard is really difficult. I don't think when I was a child that I had the patience to learn the things I've learned now. As well as it being difficult, you do get hurt sometimes. So it requires a level of commitment. Committing to your passions is something that generally tends to get a little bit easier to do with age. But basically, the reason I feel it's so important to talk about this is that when you start skateboarding as an adult, whether you be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, whenever you decide to start skateboarding, you are going to get people saying to you, oh, you're not a bit old for that. Haven't you outgrown that sort of thing now? Well, no. Do people outgrow football? No. Do people outgrow fishing? No. Do people outgrow athletic things like running, cycling? No. When an adult buys themselves a bicycle, we don't say to them, are you not a bit old for that? Shouldn't you have a car by now? Shouldn't you have a motorcycle? For some reason, skateboards are still being seen as a toy, even though this year they were in the Olympics. It's an Olympic sport. It's at least as much of a sport as dress off. You don't say to people, you're not a bit old for that horse. Now, I actually think this is quite important because I think this is something that puts off a lot of people who are considering starting skateboarding again. A lot of these people are like myself, maybe skated a bit as a kid, never really got anywhere with it, but was always interested in skateboarding. And as an adult, you suddenly find that you want to get yourself a new hobby or maybe you need to have another way of keeping in shape because we all start aging at some point. And skateboarding is great for all of those things. It's super rewarding. It's something you can work on all by yourself and all of the games you make are going to be personal games. The only person you're ever competing against on a skateboard is yourself. Now I'm going to give a bit of a reality check right here. Honestly, if you've never stepped on a board and you pick it up at age 45, 55, 65, realistically, you're never going to be front crooking El Toro. You're never going to be hard flipping Wallenberg. I hate to break it to you, but that's a young man's game. Myself, I don't think I'm ever going to be skating handrails, skating big gaps. I don't think I'm going to comprehensively learn all of the basic flip tricks in all stances. I don't even know if I'm ever really going to learn to draw in. But I really enjoy skateboarding and I've progressed a lot in the last few years, to be honest, more than I thought I was going to. If you'd told me a few years ago that sometimes I'd be able to land an impossible first try, I would never would have believed you, but I would have been hyped at the thought of it maybe being a possibility. Right now that's where I am, and you could be too. At the end of the day, if you go out and buy yourself a skateboard, sit on it on your driveway and just roll down there once a week, but you enjoy it. You're a skateboarder. You're not too old. Don't listen to anyone that tells you you are. Now, if you are like me and you used to skate back in the day, there's a good chance that you used to have a skinny little board set up, little tiny wheels, maybe a 775 deck, maybe an 8 if you were feeling extravagant. One thing I would say if you are going to be getting back into skating as an adult is don't be too sentimental about that setup. A lot of the people that I know that have started skateboarding a little bit older end up going for a much bigger board. I've currently gone up to an 8.5. I did this gradually, started on a 7.75, then an 8, then an 8.25, an 
and an 8.5. I'm now settled on 8.5. A lot of my friends have done the same thing. So in terms of skateboard setup, I would say, have a look, see what's out there. Look at other YouTube videos, look what other people are riding. But if you buy the right board and you feel comfortable on it, you're gonna learn more tricks than you ever thought you could. So again, you're not too old to learn, and here's the proof. Thank you all for watching this video, for sticking with me all the way through. I know I've had a little bit of a rant at the end here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I, I'm still in single digit subscribers. So if you can get on there first, you can be one of the early birds. I will continue posting every couple of days. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you again soon. Drop me a comment down below if you're young, old, how old are you? Have you started skating? Do you skate? Let me know. I'd like, I would like to know. Anyway, till next time, see ya.